Greetings and welcome everyone. It's All You Can Geek Movie Cast, episode 379. I'm one of your hosts, Jim Gast, joined by Mike Sinidi. What's up? And Tony Korkanakis. Yo! Uh, welcome guys, welcome listeners, welcome viewers to episode 379. I almost said 329. Whew! <laughs> we, that's a ways away. Uh, that's a year ago. Um, yeah, man, wow, we have a lot of episodes. It's, wow. <laughs> uh, well, welcome to the episode, everybody. We've got uh, some interesting news for the GameCast to talk about. We've got some interesting news for the MovieCast to talk about. Uh, let's see here. Um, let's go right into the box office, actually, and talk about the box office. Uh, okay. Number, number one, Jumanji still. Like, that thing is just hot as hell. Yeah. Yeah, that movie is steamrolling through everything. I think last week reported it uh, outgrossed um, Justice League, and I think it just outgrossed uh, Thor Ragnarok. It did. It did. Uh, it is now high, Sony's highest grossing domestic film uh, behind Spider-Man, I believe. Yep. So, uh, domestic sales, obviously. But yeah, behind Spider-Man, that's impressive. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, wow. Um, congrats to the Jumanji crew. I mean, uh, are we getting the as we were discussing on Discord, I saw it on Discord. Is are we are we in the in the world of Clue, Risk, Battleship coming back, uh, Monopoly? Are we gonna get like board games now? Well, apparently they're talking about Clue I pretty saw Clue. seriously. Yeah. Purposely, why I, I I put that on here because I saw Ryan Reynolds was talking about that. Well, I thought uh, Monopoly was already in works, like. Might, a couple of years ago. Uh, you know, it might be, but... I, th- I thought it was till, um, I mean, we're getting... Lion, Lionsgate, or... I forget. Maybe. I mean, Hasbro has a lot of things in development that we may, we'll never see. I mean, they were... I mean, they were talking about, like, you know, they had the toy universe, and I thought that was maybe part of it. Um, yeah. But, I mean, like, they just canceled, like, Mask and uh, something else. They're never going to make those. So. Man. Um, but, yeah, hey, uh, number one, 19.6 million. Um, 12 strong was number two. Den of Thieves, The Post, and The Greatest Showman was your top five for this, for this, for this week. Some loud feedback. Is that like air? Might be me. Hold on. All Keep right. going. All right. So, um, yeah, there we go. Much better. Now I can hear myself. Uh, yeah, so where were we? On this list. Okay, so that's the list. Uh, opening this week is Maze Runner. There's a rumor that... Um, the solo, the Han Solo trailer might premiere uh, in front of Maze Runner. I'm not sure why that is, but that's. Uh, I thought they, were, I thought they were saving that for a uh, Super Bowl. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, the, all the talk I've heard about has been uh, January 24th, so we may get that tomorrow. Hmm. So, okay. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I thought you were right, Tony. That would make sense, but Disney doesn't advertise. I don't think they've advertised too much during the Super Bowl. So, um, in you know historically. Yeah, we'll see. I, I feel like that. they need to because, I mean, this is the shortest amount of time that has been released between any Star Wars movie, even though I know it's a spinoff, and the actual release date. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is also the one that has, like, the biggest question mark um, in terms of, um, like, what it's going to do, I think. Like, mm-hmm. I think Rogue One had a lot of hype, uh, whereas, you know, because of Force Awakens... Uh, whereas, like, this one is, like, uh, I don't know. It sounds like a train wreck to me. So. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not confident on it. I, I definitely think it'll be the worst performing Star Wars movie. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, probably. Probably. <laughs> uh, so it looks like um, The Last Journey is going to round out at about $1.3 uh, That's the final run, it looks like, final tally. Uh, I saw that. Speaking of Star Wars, that's why I brought it up. Um, so now I owe Mike a movie. I don't even I didn't even look at Discord yet, Mike, to see what this was. Um, yeah. I just I've been uh, working on my house all day, so. Well, it's right there for you, so you can just click on it. There you go. Okay. <laughs> so the movie I have to watch for losing a bet to Mike, which if those were wondering, uh, was that the second Star Wars would outgross the first Star Wars. Obviously, Force Awakens, Last Jedi. Uh, I banked on that Asian box office, and man, was I wrong. Oh, it wasn't even the Asian. I mean, there was a drop off in the Asian box, but domestic was just pretty significant as well. I thought it was going to be equal domestic and then more internationally. That's what I thought. But yeah, um, I mean, you you got a lot of movies that pay up though, man. I owe you got another one for me. And I owe the emoji movie, and I owe one more after that. So, yeah. You know, I gotta get this one done, and uh, 
Yeah, I'm sure this is gonna be terrible. There was one uh, that Nick uh, Nick you might like recommend. It. It'll be fun. Um, what was that? It was a it was a uh, Ben Stiller superhero movie. Old movie. No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is why Nick. This is why Nick can't play. He just knows too much about my past. Uh, you know, What's the name of the movie? People, What's the name of the movie? Mystery Men. People like Mystery that Men. Movie. Yes, that's oh, it. People yeah, like that, that has movie. that has Kel from Keenan and Kel and all that. And wow. there was one day that Nick was out here visiting when we were younger, and uh, we rented that from Blockbuster. I remember that, and like we made it maybe forty minutes in. I think I've seen that whole movie at some point, like somewhere, but I, we never watched it. We brought it right back to Blockbuster, so yeah. it was it was horrible. Well, this movie I chose for you is called Fateful Findings. It's from a few years back by Neil Breen. It's one of those movies made by some crazy dude who had, like, resources to make a movie somehow. So that's all I'll tell you. Great. It's it's directed by, written by, starring this crazy dude. Great. Who's a top-notch actor. Top-notch. Cool. All right. Um, this is going to be awesome. Jesus. All right, what else we got here? Let's go into the movie news. Of course, I have nothing open right now. That's awesome. Oh, I got the uh, news for Castlevania Season 2 is premiering this summer. Uh, oh, they said this summer? Yeah. Double the episode count. I'll have eight episodes. Good. Yeah. Good yeah so that, that's coming out. Uh, I was really psyched to read that today. There's a lot of uh, comparisons to Netflix today uh, in video game era news, uh, reset era, but... Um, you know, I thought, I don't know, I guess I picked up a lot of Netflix news. I heard that um, the rumor of, do you remember, the, I didn't put this on here, but there was the, we were talking last week about the, not two, two weeks ago, about the Cloverfield sequel, the, the God Particle. Mm -hmm. I think we mentioned how that got delayed. Uh, there's a heavy rumor now, like, more than possible, like, I mean, it's probable that Netflix is releasing that movie and it's not going to theaters. Interesting. Yeah, that's the big rumor of the, of the, of the delay. Um... There's a lot of production issues with that movie. It actually started as the God Particle, and then Abrams brought it into the Cloverfield line. Um, so it's like I guess the transition has not been smooth, done smoothly, and a lot of money. And I think Netflix picked it up to finish it, and that's really where we're at. So um, I liked um, Ten Cloverfield Lane. I don't know if anybody saw that one besides me. I liked it. Yeah, no, I, I, I saw that. I liked it. I thought it was a really cool thing, like what they did there. Uh, I liked it better than Cloverfield. Um, I, never, I don't think I ever saw an uh, original Cloverfield. Um, yeah. It, you know, it's that camera thing. It's not, it's really wonky. Like, you got, I mean, it made, yeah. it made my brother sick. Like, he can't watch it. So, that first person in the HUD. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but, yeah. All right. Uh, what else we have here? Uh, I was reading about the Stranger, Thr yeah, Stranger Things Season 3. Uh, there were, you know how we had the, uh, I don't know, no spoilers, but there was a finale where we're going to get a new villain now in season three, which is kind of weird. Um, not focusing on Will at all. Well, that part we talked about was probably the best idea going forward. Yeah, I think, I think they need to give him a break. <laughs> yeah, we can't just beat up on Will anymore, but I don't know how much the newness of this villain to believe when some producer just says that. Yeah. Um, but we'll see. I mean, <laughs> um, I, I mean, there might be that overall looming villain that we know of, but... Um, I, this new villain, I don't know, sounds like they're trying to make him the big bad, actually, so I don't know. Um, it, it's a weird show. I, I'm really looking forward to it, but it's not coming this year. It's coming in 2019. Yeah. That's sucks. We're like full high school for these kids now. Yeah. I mean, oh, wait, wait. What'd you say about what, when's this coming? 2019. It's skipping 2018? Yes. Yes. What the fuck? Really? Yes, it Why? is. Why? Yes, it is. Why? Because um, they didn't get their green light until into the season so they couldn't get the, the writing's not done yet yeah what the fuck Netflix like really yep that I don't know if I buy that I think that might have just been an excuse it could be an excuse but um they might want to like skip a few awkward like puberty years to get to like actual teenagers well, we are we are time jumping <laughs> they said this will be a time jump well they're gonna have to yeah so yeah, I was disappointed when I heard that because I was actually looking forward to having another Stranger Things party. Like, I'm like, I can do this annually. I would love <laughs> to do this at my house here. I um, actually just went to another Stranger Things party. Oh, you went was... to that? You went to that? I was yeah. going to go and uh, I just didn't have time. It was Saturday, right? Yeah. Um, slash 80s themed at a, 
<laughs> my fiance's friend's family's restaurant. Oh, that's the restaurant? <laughs> oh, I, we were going to go. Yeah. Like, I was, yeah. I, if restaurant, I bar. At that point, it was just a bar. It was too packed to really feed you too easily. But <laughs> oh. Yeah, I was doing um, renovations here, as people have noticed. My yeah. background has changed. So It was cool. Um, so It was funny because some people went like, you know, with like T-shirts like this, I got the Hawkins AV Club shirt right here. Nice. <laughs> and some people went. Uh, well, Ashley went as like a, a character. She went as um, eight. Nice. And, uh, but other people just wore eighties things. And then there was some. I was surprised at the demographic that was actually like from the eighties that just showed up and be like, yeah, eighties, like all these forty-five-year-olds. Straight eighties. Just, like, forget Stranger they're Things. They're like, yeah, yeah. Well, we had to expand it a little bit because not everyone. Is all that familiar, but uh, it went. It was well. It was packed, so it was cool. Cool. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, uh, that was cool. Uh, what else we have here? Other news: We have John Cena in talks to play Duke Nukem. <laughs> well, <laughs> he looks the part. I mean, if anybody could make that movie work, I guess it John Cena. Yeah. Oh man. Could make uh, it work. Dude, I. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I, you're just going to remind me getting into what we've been up to. I'll talk about it. I've been watching some uh, wrestling, actually. Um, yeah, I know. No, weird mix, but I'll talk about it when we get there. But yeah, John Cena, um, I don't really know his character because I've never watched him in wrestling. That was past my time I watched it. Um, I don't know who he, you know, how, what he is, really. But I mean, I've seen him around. I know who he is, but uh, he does look like Duke Nukem. But why do we need this? You know? Like... Well, Does anybody you know, if care about Duke he wants to him? follow in um, the Rock's footsteps and make the transition to you know full with, full on. Start with Duke, like, like yeah, him. just like except yeah. that's not where he started, but yeah. yeah. I mean, if you ha- try to do successful video game franchises into movies, it doesn't work. So maybe if you start with a really yeah. awful failure of a franchise, maybe it'll work as a movie. Yeah. Man. yeah. Where's the uh, the bright news on this, Jim? Oh, wait, did I delete the bright news? Oh, I, I didn't put it on there. I forgot to put it on there because it was in Discord. I mixed it up. So That's fine. Um, I, got, I got it up so okay. I, can, I can do it. Okay. Okay. So apparently uh, the Netflix uh, executives were uh, interviewed about how bright you know the movie star Will Smith did. Um, and they said... The consumer response to the film has been great. Every internal measurement says it's one of our most watched pieces of original content, meaning TV show or film that we've ever had. Um, you know, they go on to say that the reviews on Rotten Tomatoes, IMDb, um, positive experience with that film, other than the critics, and that they're a little disconnected. Blah blah blah. And they, you, long story short, they're like the way you look at it is people are watching the movie and loving it, and that's a measure of success, success for us. If critics behind it or don't, that's a select group of social media influencers talking to a select audience. So, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. I thought it was interesting because, uh, you know, like I said, the movie, definitely flawed. Not, I wouldn't say it's great. I wouldn't say it's bad. But uh, that's a, it was that's interesting to watch. An interesting, like, that's a big disconnect between fans and critics in that. Um, mm-hmm. Because it's not, it's not a bad movie. It's a popcorn flick. It's, yeah, it's not going to score high. I, I understand that. But, you know, they were talking about that disconnect between critics and, and fans because, or fans, but viewers um mm-hmm. there's no fans of that yet but yeah i I, th- I would like them to build a series out of that rather than a movie i think it would, it would do it much better um you know that's why yeah. when we were talking about in discord i'm like with or without will smith because like well he, yeah. was, he was fine I mean, he's good he's not bad in that movie yeah. but he's expensive i think yeah I, but he's also expendable i think that universe is uh, i don't know about that what happened with the second independence day I mean, you have a will smith vehicle it's hard to go without him afterwards I guess well, once he's in it, yeah. I'm gonna say he's well, not draw, but well, you know what I think would be cool, um, just you know, for a recurring conversation we have, you know, just because the Marvel stuff never panned out, that you know, hashtag it's all connected. What if Netflix, you know, jugg- uh, juggled the uh, bright movies and uh, you know a syndicated like thirty minute hour long episode, something like that. That was in you a know, part, yeah, That'd in be- a different part, or you know, small, you know, it doesn't have to be the big flashy, uh, you know, magic stuff all time. You know, does it have to? Pull Will Smith in, you know. Yeah, save well, budget not stuff. like all over the place in this universe. Right. So yeah, that right. that could work quite well. So mm-hmm. you know, the orcs take some makeup, but you know, that's yeah. fine. Mm-hmm. So that would be that would be cool to do. I think that would be awesome. A good tie-in universe they can create. Um, I think the critics didn't like it because the orcs look too much like Killer Croc and Suicide Squad. <laughs> uh, yeah, I could see that. <laughs> uh, I could definitely see that. Actually, it's a funny compare. Wait, did you watch the movie, Mike? No. I saw pictures oh. of it. <laughs> okay. 
It's but good. I know. I liked it, Mike. It's not your style. It's not up your, not up your alley, Mike. But uh, eh, I like Will Smith enough. So I might you, give it a watch if I'm bored. Yeah, if you're a Will Smith fan, it's, it's worth a watch. It's got like yeah, a, especially if a Netflix subscription. A bit of a Bad Boys vibe to it. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> yeah. Bad Boys yeah. meets Lord of the Rings. That's a weird combo. So, <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. Yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, sticking with uh, Netflix news, this is, uh, I think, kind of breaking. But um, the live-action Full Metal Alchemist movie is premiering on Netflix uh, February 19th. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah. Nice. It should be pretty cool. Our order is all right. It's interesting. You know, we just were talking about video games being made into movies. You know, here we're going with uh, yeah, anime. anime into movies. So why not? All right. We had the Oscar nominations as well this year. Wonder Woman has not made any of them. For those wondering, um, what a shame. Just get that out of the way. Yeah, I think there's did a lot any of movies that we did any movies we're into like really. Uh, Logan see. did. Logan did for Logan best did? screenplay. Okay, I can see that. I can see um, that. The best picture nominees are Call Call Me by Your Name, Darkest Hour, Dunkirk, Get Out, Lady Bird, Phantom Thread, The Post, The Shape of Water, and Three Billiards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. I've heard of three of those. Yeah. So. Obviously, Get Out, Scott, like the director up there as well, Jordan Peele. Um, but yeah, I'm just going over the best. We don't need to go all, all, over all of these. I'm just saying that, like, I, I just like to read off the best picture things. Uh, Dunkirk was was good. I don't think that's going to win. It's going to be the most, like, artsy of them. So let's go with... The one you know the least about. Yeah. Call Me By Your Name. There I don't you even go. know what that's about. Yeah. I mean, it could be... It should be... I could see Get Out getting it, but... Um, oh, Lady Bird's very popular, too. Yeah, I don't know what that's even about, but... It's very popular, very, uh... People say it a lot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know that, um... Wow, Margot Robbie's up for uh, Best Actress in a Leading Role for I, Tonya. I don't mind. How far she's okay. No, I mean, she's, you know, she's obviously... Uh, Being Harley, Tanya Harding. Harley Quinn. So, <laughs> um... I'm just flipping through these real quick. Um, best Adapted Screenplay was Logan, not Best Original, obviously. Um... I, I, animated feature Coco's up there Bert Ferdinand whatever best cinematography has got Blade Runner Darkest Hour Dunkirk Mudbound and Shape of Water I heard The Shape of Water was really good yeah I was kind of interested in that just because I had that art deco almost Bioshock style to it um, along with obviously a Guillermo del Toro creature design which is always interesting to see so yeah, yeah. well I mean it's if you want to see a Woman having sex with a merman. <laughs> Show sure. for it. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's others out there, I guess. Um, Blade Runner 2049 up for best visual effects. Uh, I'll make Corey happy. Yeah, the Star, Star Wars The Last Jedi is in that category, too. Um, that's why I mentioned it. The Last Jedi is in sound mixing with Blade Runner. Uh, Dunkirk's in there. Uh, Baby Driver's in there, which I think is going to win that one. Um, Last Jedi is in sound editing. Last Jedi is in best original score, which, you know, is John Williams. I think that's like a... It's like a gimme. It's going to be on there. Automatic. Yeah, it's automatic nomination. So that's it for Star Wars nominations. But yeah, so uh, that's your big nominees. There's a whole bunch there. You can go online and view them from wherever. Just search it in Google. <laughs> uh, when's that out? When's the Oscars? Tonight, isn't it? Is it next? No, it's Sunday? they're normally Sundays, right? Oh, is it Sunday? Sunday? Yeah, I think they're normally Sundays. I don't know when, though. Yeah, they usually. I don't give care. These films, I'm not going to watch it. It's not going to be next week <laughs> because they usually give these films um, a little time uh, to like. They'll actually run these in the theaters, I believe, for a little bit. Yeah. Remember, right. Um, when I'll is get this? a little Oscar boost. March fourth. So they will have a while in the theaters. So. Yeah. Uh, so that's <laughs> it for news. Um, yeah, people are saying though that like Wonder Woman's a big snub, but honestly. I mean, no. listen, the, the movie is fine. It's good. And I even backed off on how great it was. It, it, it's a good, very good movie. Especially it's solid. Coming from DC Universe, yes. But yeah, it doesn't solid. deserve to be up there with what's up there. So. Mm. Well, I guess. Yeah, you, that's hard to say. It's just, you know, the type of movies that Oscars would go for. Yeah. Maybe I mean, Logan doesn't got, watch. Logan got into gre- uh, Best Adapted Screenplay. That's like the yeah, first. Yeah, well, first the thing comment. about Logan is it's more, it's more like the type. It's of big. movies you would see right. yeah. <laughs> in the Oscars. It's just more like brutal. It's sort of sad. It's about life more. I mean, Wonder Woman is still kind of by the numbers a superhero story. Hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, yeah. All right. 
Um, just flipping through to see if there's anything, any more breaking stuff, but I don't see anything. All right, uh, so that's going to wrap up the news. Let's get into what we've been up to. Um, Mike. What have I watched? Uh, nothing. <laughs> no time to watch anything, really. Nothing, okay. That- uh, Tony, anything? Oh, I paid up on one of our bets. Ah, uh, uh, yes, yes. What, 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 what did I lose? I forget the... Uh, no, it wasn't Spider-Man. Um, it was a quick bet. It was a quick bet. It was a... Uh, you know, it was Spider-Man. Um, it was? What, the, the ape movie... I, I said Spider Man was going to be number one two weeks in a row. And apes beat it, yeah. And apes yeah. beat it slightly, yeah. Yep. Um, so I paid up on that bet and watched uh, Ghostbusters 2016, was it? Or what year did that come sure. out? Sure. I think that's about right. Whatever the new Ghostbusters movie was. Um, you know, and I got to say, off the record, no, on the record, on the record, I'm not the biggest Ghostbusters fan. I appreciated, um, you know, films when they came out, even though I was like pretty young when, when they did. Um, I watched the car- the, or- the original cartoon when I was a kid. I liked it. You know, it was fun. Yeah. But I have no particular love or attachment. You the know, original. whatever. Okay. Right. So when all the when this movie was like being made and you know news started coming out, like oh, it's not going to be a sequel or is it? I don't know. And then they're like, oh, it's going to have you know a, an all female cast. Blah blah blah. And then internet rage, just that and the other thing. I was like, look, whatever. Let them do what they want to do. Um, you know, it's a new generation, that kind of thing. Uh, so I came. I went in with an open mind. I had low, low expectations, and again, I didn't really care for the franchise to begin with. So you know, whatever. Yeah. This movie sucked. <laughs> it sucked so bad. Um, I mean, really, I cannot believe how they could take a simple premise like ghost hunting and just do nothing with it. Mm. Um, I mean, to begin with, the characters, all of them seemed extremely unlikable. Um, didn't, didn't they um, do a lot of this with um, uh, freeform, like ad-libbing com- comedy in this? Didn't they do that? Maybe, and that was what I was going to get to next. Yeah. I, I felt the, the humor, you know, uh, uh, the original Ghostbusters movies were kind of hokey to begin with, you yeah. know, and that's why it's like, okay, uh, it's funny, but not awkward, cringe, like secondhand cringe funny. Yeah. Um, or awful funny. This was. Every time they tried to make some joke, it, I was just like, this, this is funny? This is... Yeah, I think a lot of... This is the best you could do? Improv. Improv. To, uh, improv com- comedy. That's what it was. That is a, that is a terrible way uh, to do a big movie yeah. like this. I mean, uh, if you want to do a small... Yeah, totally go for it. But this... I don't know that I laughed the entire movie. Uh, uh, other than <laughs> just, wow, this is, this is just so terrible. I can't believe that they are wasting it. Mm-hmm. Um, like... I'm sorry if I'm spoiling this for anybody. It's not a good movie. But Bill Murray's um, cameo in this was a joke. And not a good joke. Kind of like, that's what you decided to do with him. That is what you decided to do with him. Hmm. Uh, I mean, it, it was almost like an insult even. And again, I don't really care about this franchise, but it's just, what what was the point? Um, is it like throwing the lightsaber over Luke's shoulder? Uh, I would say <laughs> it's worse, actually. Because uh, at least that tied into that character development. I mean, Jim, you saw this movie, right? No, I haven't seen this yet. You didn't see this movie? You, you assigned it to me and you didn't even watch this movie. I went in the dark on it, yes. Yeah. All right. I so, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to actively spoil this movie go, go for ahead. you. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. That's all right. <laughs> again, if you really care about this, don't, don't, don't tune, uh, you know, skip, skip ahead a minute. Skip forward. All right. So at some point, you know, uh, the premise of the movie is that the t- uh, two of the female main characters – um, when they were kids, they were best friends, and they believed in ghosts, and they're nerdy scientists, wannabes, whatever. Um, they wrote a book about it, and then you know they branched off because the one woman went to be like um, a professor in a college, academia, and this the other woman went to like be a, a smaller professor at some other smaller school, whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then it's all about them like reconnecting and trying to hunt ghosts because they have reason to believe that you know shit's happening again. So at some point, they actually do capture a ghost, and it's like a big deal because, you know, nobody believes in ghosts. And Bill Murray's character comes and pays them a visit, and he's like, I want to see this proof that there's a ghost. And if you can prove it to me, I'll bankroll you guys or something like that, you know, because he's a super rich dude. And they're like, okay. And they have the ghost in, like, one of those uh, old-school-type containment traps or whatever they call them. 
and she's like, uh, the one friend is like, no, 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 what, what are you doing? Like this, this could go real bad if you release this. You know, we don't know what's going to happen. And the character who decides to release it is totally like the character's like, oh, play by the rules, play it safe, this anything. So she opens up the trap. The ghost just flies out, like, like absorbs Bill Murray for a second, or like carries it with him, whatever you want, pushes him out the window, and Bill Murray's character just dies. That's it. And the ghost gets away. Yep, that's ex- that's his entire cameo. He doesn't come back as a ghost or anything. Just he's oh, dead. That's it. Great. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. There we go. Um, so yeah, uh, Chris Hemsworth after seeing Thor Ragnarok, I was like, oh, you know what? He can do comedy. Like he, that, I think that suits his strength. Where it's just you know, kind of whatever. Yeah. In this. They totally just waste him. Um, they make his character extremely stupid. Not even just like funny, stupid, but nobody's this stupid. Like he puts a <laughs> phone in an aquarium and they're just like, are you going to answer that? He's like, it's in the aquarium. And they're like, why the fuck is it in the aquarium? Like it's just so stupid. Uh, it, it's unbelievably stupid. So yeah, the movie is terrible. Never watch it. Um, just <laughs> never watch it unless you lose a bet and – now that I know you didn't see it, maybe I'll make you oh, watch it. Oh, great. <laughs> it's terrible. It's terrible. I have but, not yeah. lost a I mean, I have not won a bet. I know, in fact, I, I think I know the movie for um, the Marvel bet. Because it's all three oh. of you. And Misery Loves Company. So I believe Catwoman might be that winner. Wait, wait. You have a bet against all three of us? Uh, yes. The, what? the Sh- Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. appearing in Marvel. The Infinity War. Wait, I thought I was the only one that made the. No, no, no! It's all three of you. We all made that bet. Yes, it's three on one, and oh, I'm going to win it. Yeah, I don't yeah. remember it's that. It's everybody. Uh, I thought it was just me and you. No, nope, it's Mike, everybody. You, you're backing that. You're confirming that. I can go back. Yeah, in time. no, I remember that because oh, God. afterwards I was like, oh man, there's no way. <laughs> oh man, there's no. Yeah, so. Um, yeah, it's cause... not looking good for us. Uh, no, but I believe seen Catwoman. Have, have you? No, no. I, I think it's going to be Catwoman. I'm almost certain. Yeah. I'm going to let you guys join me in the misery of hell. That really? Catwoman. You're going to do one that you did as a bet? Can well, I pay off already? It's so bad that it's worth, like, I want to have all three of you know the pain that <laughs> I was in from watching in... that movie. Oh, God. So. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, yeah, that's, that's all I've been up to. I've been watching, let's see, what have I watched? Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., the newest episode. Great show. It's actually um, Marvel's highest rated show now. In, compared to the Netflix shows, uh, it's actually higher rated than any of their shows. Really? Uh, yep. Rated yep. how? Um, scoring, critical scoring, critical sh- uh, show. Interesting. Um, yep. Uh, yeah. Passed. It passed Luke Cage, which was number one for some reason. I can see that scoring with the critics. Um, <laughs> so this guy has. Uh, I'm sick. Uh, I'm kind of <laughs> done with this critic stuff at this uh, point. I don't. Uh. <laughs> Um, how's the yeah. viewership though? Because I know the Friday yeah. night slot really hurt it. Is it still suffering because of that? It, it's gone up week to week. Um, okay. But it started off weak, so we'll see. It's got a ways to grow still. Yeah. Uh, oh, apparently ABC canceled um, Inhumans. Yeah, yeah, that's the rumor. Shocking. Um, which is fine. So, I mean, that's garbage. And obviously, something other properties were purchased recently. So yeah. Why so I, I, I don't. Humans? I don't think Age of the Shield is going away after this year. No, I don't, I don't think so either. Think it is. No, I don't think so either. Uh-huh. It's so good, Mike. Cause you've been watching it, right? Wait, didn't you guys have a bet on that? Uh, we, I have to go back. That's tough. I don't know if I would. I know you guys talked it. about it. Yeah, I don't know if I would have bet on it because I, it's questionable. I mean, I bet on questionable like, stuff all the like, time, but like, not that. Age, like mutants will be on X Men or something like that, or uh, Age of Shield. They'll say the word mutant. Uh, I forget. Oh yeah, we might have. You mean recently? Yeah, there might be something recently. Um, we have to look that. And up. then, and then. You were like, yeah, well, the show, as long as the show is still around, and I don't forget if you guys came to an agreement on terms or something like that. Yeah. I don't know if we did, but uh, I, I wouldn't, I still would say that they'll never say mutants on that show. <laughs> uh, let's see what else we have here. I mean, I haven't watched, I haven't been watching too much. I've been so busy. Uh, I, I swear I'm missing something, though, I have, I have seen. Like, I'm going, flipping through my viewer list uh, because, like, Hulu, I've watched, like, just some random stuff on there, but I thought. The Moji movie? No, where is it? I gotta find it. I gotta find it. I don't it. know. So it's not on anything. Oh, it's I'm not... sure it's someplace. I just can't find it at the moment, and you know, my viewer history is not long loading. So if this is not if this is on Netflix and you haven't watched, I'm gonna be very upset at you, Jim. 
It may be on there now. New shows are coming on there, so. Yeah, apparently Lord of the Rings is on there now. Yeah, there's a couple stuff leaving though soon. So. Is there? Oh well, yeah, it's always happening. Well, apparently Hulu doesn't work on the iPhone, so. It just sits there on this green screen. Oh my god. Um, my iPhone's terrible, by the way. This thing wouldn't work as a phone like three times today. It says, call failed on iPhone. I'm like, what? What? Isn't that the point of the iPhone part? Like the phone part? But I don't know. So, yeah, I don't know. That's about it. Um, nothing really of note. So, I'll be watching movie. I'm going to relax finally because I'm getting caught up with my apartment renovations. So, I'll be able to watch something soon, which might be a Moji movie. Maybe I'll watch that. <laughs> So. Yeah, that'll be the movie to break in the, uh, the, the, the newness. New, the newness of the room. No movies have been viewed yet, so... Uh, yeah, I, it's kind of not even... It's a mess right now, but we'll figure it out, so... All right, that's going to wrap up the uh, 379 of the movie cast. Thanks for tuning in. Write us podcast at allyoungeek.net. Follow us on Twitter, All Geek. Like us on Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, too. Thanks for tuning in. See you next week.